This is Unix Guy, one of the biggest cybersecurity content creators on YouTube. But Unix Guy had a problem. Just listen to this. I do have a, like a story where I messed up big time. Like big backend servers, um, they have so many hard drives and mm. uh, we have something called RAID. So RAID is when you have one hard drive, but we have another copy of the same hard drive and it's like sync, we sync yeah. them together. So if one of them fail, the other one will take over. And you know, there's, um, and I remember I was uh, going to this uh, client, it was an airline company and I took a junior engineer with me. And I remember it was like 1 p.m., 2 p.m., something I haven't eaten all day. And this junior engineer was asking me questions nonstop. So as I logged into the server, I realized the primary hard drive failed, but the secondary has taken over. Mm. Um, you know, not to go through too many details, but the operating system was Sun Solaris and um, the mechanism or the software we used used to be called Veritas Volume Manager. Like I knew these softwares in and out, so could do it with my eyes closed. Now, some of those old Sun servers, the naming of the hard drive is really dodgy. Like I remember the name is this long, so many mm. characters. As he was asking me questions and I'm just running the commands really quick, so much that I wasn't even looking at the screen at some point. It's called RAID, we need to break it first, remove the old one, put a new disk and then sync them. So what I did, I broke the RAID, took the old disk, put the new one. And when I ran, there was a set of commands to sync the two disks. And instead of syncing the one with the data to the, to the new one, I sank the new one <laughs> to the <laughs> active disk. And right. as soon as I ran this command, I saw the server, <laughs> I knew exactly what happened. And standing next to me was actually the database administrator who um, was working for that company. And his face went yellow. Like I cannot describe, like he had a, he was tanned like me and his face went yellow because he knew exactly what happened. <laughs> I remember I looked at the engine, I'm like, can you please stop talking for five minutes? <laughs> Give me a second to, to just being, being experienced. I just took a step back. I messed up um, that data, the DBA guy. He started getting calls from his company. Like his phone wow. started ringing and they start like the application is down because all the branches, they couldn't see the booking system. Like it was during working mm. hours. And again, we used to do these things during working hours because these companies were 24 by seven line, but also like the reason why we have this redundancy is because we didn't need to take the system offline. Um, so yeah, immediately I asked him, so where's your backup? So <laughs> install tape backups and I started restoring backup, hoping it was recent. And it, it took what, 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 what should have been like half an hour job. It took, I think three hours. And yeah, wow. <laughs> I remember by the time I finished and I walked out, I was like, I didn't realize I was sweating so much. Like I, I wasn't physically nervous, but I think psychologically I was just so upset for causing an outage that was unnecessary, mm. but um, <laughs> that's one story I'll never forget.